Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Not Here with Geeky Sparkles for another daily dose of Dismal Disney, but I thought this was kind of time sensitive stuff. We're gonna talk about how they're purging all the Splash Mountain characters from Disneyland. Uh, they're purging them all. They've actually replaced Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, Br'er Bear, etc., with some really crappy murals. And then we're gonna talk about how they're gonna expand on the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland to get ready for this uh, Tiana re-theme. So this is it, guys. This is Disney, but it's, it looks like it's pretty low effort stuff. I mean, at first everybody's like getting all excited. I'm like, nah, this just looks like they're just kind of doing some landscaping personally. But uh, we'll talk about it. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney theme park news. Uh, when Geeky gets back, I swear you'll get a, a woohoo. But um, yeah, not a lot of people are going to be woohooing about this. And I got to give a hat tip to Lorena Creole, who put this on my radar that uh, they are removing all of the Br'er characters from Splash Mountain in Disneyland. It's coming from Disneyland News Today. Breaking. Br'er Fox, Br'er Bear, and Br'er Rabbit are in Briar Patch Shop, replaced with generic forest creatures. We can't even keep Br'er Rabbit on a sign in the parks. That's how offensive this character is, this cartoon character. So offensive that we can't even keep his face anywhere in the shop, where a portrait of Br'er Rabbit once hung over the fireplace, a new art piece featuring an owl is there, just an owl. There it is, classic, it looks like it belongs, right? Right, but now it's just uh, an owl. It's this ugly owl thing that they just stuck on there. Yeah, looks great. Looks very Disney, right? Um, elsewhere in the shop, the art of Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox have been replaced with generic animals. Look at that. That's some Disney magic, guys. Imagineering worked really, really hard on this. Got it. Yeah, look at that. Look how amazing that was. Like, we can't even keep a nod to the characters in the park. I know they already got rid of zippity doo -Dah off the playlist in Disneyland. I'm not sure if they have in Disney World yet. But this is like some next-level uh, next level bullshittery, in my opinion. Because, I okay, fine, you change the ride, fine, whatever, you change the ride. It's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be that good. I think it's going to be mostly screens, but whatever. But you can't even keep a couple of murals up of these characters. And we're not talking about the human characters. We're talking about the animated characters. It is so damn offensive to somebody at Disney that we can't even keep these characters in the parks at all. At all. So whoever bought that big-ass bag of plushies a year or so ago when they announced that they were closing down Splash Mountain, good on you because they're probably going to go for a fortune because you're not going to be able to find anything, rare anything in the parks. They are scrubbing these characters from existence. I mean, this is this is actually really disgusting, I think. Uh, here's art depicting Br'er Bear that used to be on display, and this is what we got now. We got just a generic cub hugging a branch. Here we have Br'er Fox, one of my, my favorite Disney characters of all time. The location of the former Br'er Fox art is now home to art of a bear cub hanging on to a tree branch. Uh, the Briar Patch, are they going to rename it? Are they gonna rename it? We gotta take we gotta take uh, Br'er Rabbit off of that sign too. They probably will. They'll probably call it like the the Wilderness Hut or something stupid. Uh, the Briar Patch is located in Critter Country at Disneyland Park, right next to what will be Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Or is this getting rethemed? So that brings me into the next thing, which is the Haunted Mansion. I'm trying to figure out the layout here. Are they taking the Briar Patch down? Uh, I don't know. They're going to expand the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, and a new retail shop is coming to Disneyland Resort in 2024. According to the Parks blog, that uh, they're going to do a garden with uh, some Madame Leota stuff. Okay. Uh, each of the gardens will feature unique elements ranging from a water fountain and gazebo to theme statuary and landscaping. In fact, guests will be able to see a new greenhouse where the groundskeepers for the Han Mansion used to grow their plants. The pet cemetery and horse-drawn funeral hearse will continue to reside within the attraction grounds. 
I don't think it's that big of a refurbishment. I have to wonder about the uh, Columbia Harbor House and Disney World if they're not going to retheme that to Haunted Mansion because that's that's been talked about for a couple of years. But this is like this is one of their big announcements, I think. Because remember how we did the video the other day and we talked about how Disney was going to have all these massive announcements at D23. This is probably one of the big announcements. Like, look, everybody, we're going to add another building to the Haunted Mansion and we're going to clean up the courtyard for Tiana as we scrub the Brer characters from existence. They're wiping them from existence, right? And everybody's going to go nuts for it. Because they're like, oh my God, Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion's fantastic, guys. It is. Everybody's going to be crazy. Now, what's interesting is, uh, you know, here's the reactions here. Lorraine Grill is some straight up bullshit. It's disgusting. Disney Parks, this is gross and disrespectful. Erasing actual historical folklore. This doesn't prove to anyone just how cheap and lazy the retheme will be. I don't know what will. Yeah, it's true. It looks really cheap. Do you think they're going to do a good job on Tiana? I don't think so. That looks horrible. Pathetic. Everyone disliked that. Bob Iger, the more you deny it, the more we'll remind you of it. Brer Robert Iger, yo, retheme going to be the only thing worse than your stock price. <laughs> Deserve to go bankrupt. They probably got those from Amazon. Yeah, it looks bad. Pathetic trash, sad, sad day, WTF. Can't wait to see how this ruins some Disner's life. Well, there we go, guys. I don't really even care anymore. I'm to the point where I'm like beyond caring. It's it's over. Like the Disney that we loved, it's it's over. Now, um, speaking of Lorena Creel, um, she reposted this too, that they have a share of the, the first look at the journey of water. And she said, this is... Uh, this is supposed to be an experience, right? These are just some freaking interactive fountains. You know, the leaky tiki's in the magic kingdom. Yeah. You know how, uh, they're, they're kind of cool, but it's not really an attraction. Yeah. That's basically what this is. This is not an attraction. This is just, just water, but they're going to make it look like it's the most exciting thing ever. This is not an attraction. People are going to be like, the journey of water, is that a new flume ride? Is that something fun? Is that a ride? No, it's just, just water, guys. This is Disney, right? Like this would have been part of a queue for a ride. They're basically trying to market ride queues as attractions. <laughs> That's how cheap Disney is these days, guys. Who knows? They might be holding holding cards back for the D23 and they might be like, hey, we've got all kinds of new rides and coasters and a new land and all that planned, but I would not hold your breath. This is uh, this is it, guys. This is Disney. This is current year Disney. Everyone, all their cast members are so excited about a water fountain. There it is. So I don't know what to say anymore. It's, it's the Disney we knew is gone. Uh, I'm sorry if this Dis nerd is a little salty about it. There's no reason to take these characters off of the murals other than the fact that a handful of people in California are offended that this movie was made when it was made and that it's existed for years. And, you know, nobody really said anything about it. Decades. Nobody really said anything about it. Um, and the characters, the Brer characters themselves, they are part of American folklore. They are, you know... It, and uh, it's, it's, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. This is, uh, this is Disney being its dismal self, current year, overcorrection. I'm going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.